Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I was able to draw this R35 GTR. Um, I did this painting a while back, but I've seen that a lot of people like this painting um, and I wanted to make a tutorial, you know, of how I went about doing this. So I don't actually have a time lapse of this um, drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do a, a remake it. Not I'm not gonna do the coloring and stuff like that, um, but I'm gonna show you a very simple way of how you can draw a R35 GTR. Basically for, for beginners, because this is a little bit more advanced with the coloring techniques. Um, if I had a time lapse, I could definitely show you that. But like I said, I don't have um, that footage available. So I'm unable to do that. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this video. First things first, you're gonna wanna get your paper and you're gonna wanna tape it down. So I just have this blue painter's tape. Um, it's a little bit, it's been a little bit difficult with me, but um, it's no big deal. Uh, so just, you just wanna tape this down, you know, make sure the thing's stabilized. Um, you can just do the two corners, it doesn't really matter, as long as the thing's not gonna be moving around when you're, when you're drawing. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is find the photo that you wanna paint, obviously, or draw. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to show the, show the photo that I'm using up here. It's going to be the exact same photo that I used um, for the actual drawing. But yeah, so you're going to want to find the photo you want to use. Then you're going to going to download this app called grid hashtag. I'll put up a little, I'll put up a picture of it um, up on the screen. Basically what that app allows you to do is put a grid over the photo basically just overlays a grid onto the photo, which allows you to then make a grid onto the paper or the canvas. And then that allows you to use the grid method, which is what I use for almost all of my drawings and paintings. Um, now the grid method allows you to make proportions way easier and faster than just doing it without the grid method because you have those guidelines of the grid and you can look where the different things are placed in relation to the grid on the actual photo, um, it really helps and it really speeds up the process. Now, one thing you gotta focus on, right? You need to make sure that the size, the or the, the dimensions of the photo on your phone with the grid are the exact same dimensions as this. So the ratio, let's, let's, say, let's say you're using a 12 by nine piece of paper, right? 12 inches by nine inches. You're gonna wanna make sure that the photo that you use the grid on is going to be a three by four ratio so you can edit that in the iphone camera there's like with the crop there's like there's like a select uh select ratio thing where you can like choose and one of the ratios is a three by four so that's pretty easy like that but then you want you're gonna want to go in there and you're gonna want to put in the grid you're gonna want to put in 12 and nine well, let's say let's say you were using a you know a nine by 12 piece of paper you're gonna to want to put in 12 and nine, and then, you're, and then that's gonna make a square. There's gonna be 12 squares on the on the bottom side and nine squares on the top. And then when you actually grid out the paper, that'll match up to each inch on the paper. So basically you're, you're after that, after you get the grid made, after, after everything's perfect, then you're gonna to wanna to take your pencil and you're gonna actually make the grid onto the paper. This part is fairly simple. All you have to do is just make sure that, you know, you, you make straight lines and that you, you know, uh, you know, just don't mess it up. It's, it's super simple. It's, it sometimes takes a little bit, a little bit of time, but I'll show you right now. Um, I'll speed this up, but you're just gonna make a little like a dash at every one inch mark. Now this method can work for any drawing you want to do. Um, it, it doesn't have to be an R35 GTR. This can also be, you know, a R34 GTR or a literally, literally anything like, like literally anything you want. You can do the same method. Uh, I'm not going into full detail on the method. Um, I will make a video going completely over the grid method and how I use it and how you can use it as well on a later video. But um, yeah, so you're just gonna wanna continue doing this. Then you're gonna take your ruler, go across and make lines across the entire thing. So like this. 
and make sure they match up, you know, make sure they're level. All right, so now I'm gonna be done with this. So if you were actually doing it yourself, um, you can go and do the entire paper, but I'm just gonna work in this small area because, you know, it's just a, it's just a video. Um, I'm just gonna work in a smaller area to save some time. So I'm gonna work in this five by seven area. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from right here, where I am going to be working in. So in this situation, I'm working in a five by seven area. I wanna make sure that the photo is a five by seven ratio, and I wanna make sure that the grid is a five by seven grid. Now, once you do this, you are just going to want to start, you know, doing the drawing essentially. Um, you're just gonna want to copy what? The grid has look where the grid lines up and look where you know the image lines up in relation to the grid just kind of want to follow you know what the thing does so there's a little flames like along there little part right there and you're essentially just going to want to you know follow this entire thing so i'm going to speed this process up a little bit um i will explain what to do next after this now, as you can see, the sketch is finished. Now, if you want, you can just, once you finish with this, you can just leave it as is and be done with it. Um, or you can obviously do what I did and color the whole thing. I'm not gonna get into a tutorial of how to color today, um, but I will show you of me outlining it um, with a pen. Um, and yeah, this, th this video is mainly to help you guys, you know, understand how, how I get my proportions down, how you can do that as well. And, you know, it's how to draw a GTR, you know, super simply. Like I've made this video in less than like 15 minutes. So yeah, so if, you, if you're gonna wanna outline it, you know, you're just gonna wanna, um, you know, follow the lines that you made, make the lines that are more prominent, like the actual outline of the car, like here's, here's right by the back, make these a little bit thicker and more, you know, dark and prominent. Um, and some of these little contour lines, you know, you can, you can just like make them a little slightly lighter, um, going over the wing right here. This pen's actually running out of ink kind of, huh? Interesting. But yeah, you know, it's a super simple process. Um, I hope you guys, you know, found some, you know, info out of this video. I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorial videos, a lot more, um, videos with my artwork. You know, I really do think that, uh, I really do want to, you know, grow this YouTube channel. We already have almost 2,000 subscribers. So if you have not been subscribed, be sure to subscribe because um, it helped me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. I actually have over, over 1.4 million followers on TikTok, but I don't post on YouTube as much. So I'm sure a lot of you guys who are actually following me are from TikTok as well. So you probably already know that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this this pen is completely out of ink. Jeez. I was able to find a new pen. Uh, this one's a really cool, I think it's like a gel pen, but um, yeah. So, and honestly, the, the these techniques, you don't even need very good materials. A lot of people ask me, you know, like, do you need crazy materials to do your paintings? And no, you, you really don't. I mean, I'm literally just using like random pens and pencils I found around my house. Actually, these are like some actual artist pencils, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, and then the ruler, you know, that's just a you know, regular ruler. And the, the paper is, you know, artist paper, but it really doesn't matter, especially if you're just doing an outline sketch like this. If you really want to push yourself, I'm sure you can do this in 10 minutes. Um, it really just depends on how fast, you know, you can work. Now, if you want to continue, like, do it more details, you can, uh, you know, make the road, obviously. You know, there's, like, a line here on the road for that. So I just, like, make more lines that make it look like it's moving. You can do some stuff up here, like it actually is in the photo. You know, just different stuff. You can even, you know, make the shadows underneath the car like it actually is. I'm just going to do some simple outlines just because this is a super... I'm just trying to make this, you know, as quick as possible for the video. Um... And yeah, we're pretty much done. This thing looks freaking sweet. If you want, you can, you know, throw some things in the background, like a 
the trees and stuff. That's what I sort of put. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. How to draw a GTR realistically in 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Um, like I said, if you want, you can go color, you can do all this other stuff. This was just a sort of video showing the most simple and easy way to do this. But yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, like, subscribe, and comment if you, you know, enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe. You can check out my other social medias in the description. Check out my other artwork on my website. I actually do sell all my artwork on my website. You can find, um, you know, this original drawing. Um, it actually sold, but I have I have prints, canvas prints, uh, tapestries, etc. of this photo. And we have, you know, over hundreds of five-star reviews. You can all check that out in the link in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. And peace.